Hello everyone. In our last session, we discussed about the different Arduino boards. We saw different Arduino boards which are available out there. We can also check out all the available Arduino boards that are available on the Arduino's official website, which is arduino.cc. Let's open arduino.cc. On this website, we can not only see the available Arduino boards, but we can also download the Arduino software, which is required for download, uh, which is required for writing down programs for Arduino. The software is nothing but an integrated development environment. It's an open source software. It is available free of cost. We don't have to pay anything for it. This is the home page of Arduino. As can be seen, there is a product section. Let's open it in a new tab. And then there is a software section. We'll go into the software section here. The good thing is Arduino comes in a web editor as well as in a offline IDE. We generally prefer an offline IDE because we may or may not have the internet access all the time. So we prefer using offline IDE. If you're working on Windows, I would recommend to go on for this Windows installer, which is the first option. The Windows zip file is actually a non-administrative install file. So if you download this zip, you can directly run the Arduino without installation. Plus, if you are on Windows 10, you can also get the Arduino app in the Windows Store. For Mac OS, this is the version to use. So we'll go for the Windows installer by clicking here. It asks for the contribution to the Arduino software as well as the entire environment. If you are willing to, <coughs> you can contribute some donations over here. If not, for now, just download. So this downloading starts. I have an internet download manager, so it has captured the download. If not, it directly starts within the Chrome or Firefox, whichever browser you are using. It's a 90 MB software. Might take a while for completely downloading. Meanwhile, let's take a look at the Arduino products. In our last session also, we were discussing about various Arduino products available, starting from entry level to enhanced features, and IoT related as well as variable. So these are the different Arduino boards available. Lots of Arduino products are currently present. Out of these, the products which are marked in green are the Arduino boards and products which are marked in some other colors are some add-on boards or shields for the Arduino. So the installation file is downloaded onto the computer. We'll see where it goes. As I said, it will take a while for the installation to get downloaded completely. So let's, uh, let's see if the downloading is finished or not. The downloaded file will usually come into the downloads folder over here as I have an Arduino 1.6.5 version setup file downloaded here. To install this Arduino, all you need to do is just double click onto this file and the installation will begin. Just click on yes to this option which is to run the Arduino setup as administrator and the Arduino will install. During the Arduino installation process, it will ask you to select the location where you want to install the Arduino as well as it will also ask you to download number of different drivers as well as install number of different driver softwares. I would recommend you to please download all of them because it consists of the drivers for most required and most popular Arduino boards. It consists of all the drivers per se. Once installation is finished, you can run the Arduino from here.
It's also important to see where this Arduino has been installed. So go into the computer, onto the C drive, in program files, usually in program files x86. Here you will find a folder called Arduino. Here you will find a folder called Arduino. This folder is the installation folder of Arduino. This is the entire setup for Arduino and uh, we can also directly run the compiler from over here. Once Arduino starts, it starts with such a screen which shows void setup as well as void loop. But in this course, we are going to study the Arduino in a block based method. For that, Arduino was needed to be installed onto the computer and hence we installed it. Now let's see what is the other software we are talking about which we need to install. I'm talking about Ardu Blockly. Ardu Blockly is created using the Google's most popular Blockly platform. So what you need to do is just Google the Ardu Blockly and you will get the downloading link of Ardu Blockly. I'll just search it over here in my Chrome browser. Or if you don't want to Google search it, I'll just directly give you the link also. So this is the link of Ardu Blockly. For your reference, I will paste this link in a notepad file so that it, you must find it easier for later understanding as well as follow up. This is the link from where we have to download the Ardu Blockly. So this is the home page of Ardu Blockly. As you can see, we have a very nice and initiative graphical interface for downloading and creating programs for Arduino. This software runs on all three platforms, major platforms, which are Linux, Mac, as well as Windows. Clicking this button, you can go on to the download options of Windows version of Ardu Blockly. Clicking on the Windows download for Windows button will take you to the GitHub repository of Ardu Blockly where we can download the release version of Ardu Blockly for Windows. So as you can see, <coughs> there are numerous versions listed out here, out of which what we want is Ardu Blockly v0.1.2 windows.zip. Make sure before downloading Ardu Blockly that you have installed Arduino on your system properly. So this is how you can install the Ardu Blockly. Again into the downloads folder, you will find the zip file of Ardu Blockly. Let's see, is it there? In downloads, I will have it in the compressed folder because I have IDM. This is what we are talking about. Ardu Blockly v1.0.2, 0.1.2. If needed, you can copy this to a favorable location. Say, I'll copy it into a folder called all data. <coughs> Once copied, all you have to do is right click on this zip folder and extract to Ardu Blockly v0.1.2 slash windows. It will create a new folder in which the entire Ardu Blockly software is being extracted. If you open this folder, you can see new files being added into this folder. Once the installation is completed, we can see all the files present in this folder and we can also start the Ardu Blockly software directly from this folder using this file named ardublockly underscore run dot bat. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you will enjoy this session.